Hello. I'm also pretty new to your teachings, Abraham. Uh, well, that may be true of several of you, but we just want to say, while you might be new to the way we are expressing, you're not new to the resonance of this because the source within you knows everything that we're giving you here. And so that's why it's easy for you to hear it. Yes. Yes. So I'd love to talk about parenting in the vortex. I have a four and a half year old daughter who uh, is an amazing teacher I've come to realize and uh, I was telling somebody this at the break it occurred to me that um, she, she used to she she goes from exhilaration to complete meltdowns like all four-year-olds do and at some point when I was responding negatively which I've learned today she was probably already picking up on my negativity it's usually where it starts yeah. really um, she said to me one day when she was about three she said mommy it's important that you stay happy even if I'm unhappy she said I want to hear your happy voice and at that point before I had come to learn so much more I thought that is the craziest thing I've ever heard you're driving me up a wall how can I be happy and I've just recently, after learning so much about your, your teachings, realized how absolutely right she is. Well, you see, she remembered. She remembered that she comes as a teacher of unconditional love. Yeah. And in that very moment, you were holding her responsible in the condition that she was offering for your happiness. And she could feel the offness of that. And so she just explained to you with clarity that don't make me responsible for how you feel yes. because that's the powerful thing that she came to teach you see we're glad you heard her I did it took me a while but I got it and uh, now it's amusing when she has a tantrum and I I think about that it's the perfect uh, reminder that well she was trying to let you off the hook but she yeah. was trying to let herself off the hook too yeah in other words next time when she has a tantrum remember what she said but when you have one remember what she said <laughs> in other words give yourself permission to have a tantrum too you get step one experiences too it's not just the little ones that get them okay the little ones have really fewer of them the difference is when a little one gets out of the vortex the difference between how they're accustomed to feeling and how they're feeling is so stark they can hardly bear it mm -hmm. that's why you described it as a meltdown it's excruciating where the longer you live the more you learn to be tolerant of that discomfort and you learn to behave in the middle of your tantrums right so instead of expressing them outward you just destroy yourself inward it's sort of like hitting your thumb with a hammer and not screaming <laughs> And a normal person would scream in other words it's weird not to scream but screaming is not polite in some conditions so you just hold it in and feel it yourself but don't express it outward where the little ones they just openly express it outward because it feels awful so that's another wonderful thing to learn from them when you're not in the vortex scream <laughs> This is the point we're making accept the anomaly of being out of the vortex don't accept it is just the way life is don't accept that it's not the way life is and it's not the way life is supposed to be and it's not the way you're supposed to feel it's off it's off it's off it's all right for you to say this is off this is off this is off this is off I want not this oh there I feel better now I'll go back to the vortex <laughs> But when you don't give yourself permission to have a step one moment it just prolongs it right so I'm um, I, I want to be the best parent I can possibly be and then mind your own business okay. <laughs> and tend to your own vortex okay. and let her do the same and teach through your vortex example not through your words through my example so when she launches about 200 rockets of desire every hour sometimes and she's in this you know phase of uh, you know wanting this and it's so in some ways it's so great because she's so creative and expressive and then I struggle with I don't want to constantly be telling her no but she's a four-year-old and I can't give her everything she wants 
So I'm well, struggling with how to be. Well, you're not the vortex through which everything that she wants flows. The other day, Jerry and Esther had the pleasure of meeting a little boy who they've they've met before, but they spent a little more time with him on one of the cruises, and he brought his magic tricks to their cabin to demonstrate them, and and so they had fun uh, watching his magic tricks, and, and then Jerry and Esther had a little gift for him, and so Esther gave him the gift, and she had tucked a little money in the gift and as he opened it he was much more delighted with the money than he was the gift which is often the case and then Esther got an idea that since they were doing magic that she would just borrow his magic wand and produce more money which sounded initially like a really good idea <laughs> so she tapped the wand and some money came routing out and he said do it again <laughs> <laughs> and Esther thought mm, this is a very interesting dilemma so she tapped the wand again and more money shot out and he jumped with delight and said do it again <laughs> and now he has a, a lot of money <laughs> which didn't matter to Esther but she realized that she'd set something off and so she said you know that we are playing here and that uh, this money is happening because I like it to happen for you and he said I know do it again <laughs> so then Esther realized that he wasn't playing the magic game at all anymore he was playing the I want money you've got money and if I say do it again you will and so Esther had reached her limit because she realized that she was teaching something that she meant not to teach she wanted to have fun and she wanted to be playful but she did not want to distort anything and so she said I think that's all the magical money that's going to appear and he said I want more and Esther said I love it that you want mm. I love it that you want and he looked expectantly and Esther said I just love it that you want and I love how your desire will bring you what you want from a lot of different places and then Esther was done and he knew it mm. in other words she focused upon the perfection of his desire but she removed her responsibility from being the avenue through which it would flow I love that and it required focus but he knew it in other words once she lined up with the principle that I am not the vortex through which all of this will flow but your desire is a wonderful thing because you see people become confused if you make their desire wrong right. you're out of sync with the laws of the universe if you make yourself responsible to be the vortex through which it all flows you're out of sync with the laws of the universe but when you get it that it's right for them to want and you root for their desire and you praise them for the detail of their desire and you harmonize with their desire and you encourage them to speak of what they want you're in sync with the laws of the universe and at the same time as you acknowledge that some of what you want will naturally flow through me and much of what you want will come through many other avenues and won't it be fun to see through which avenues the things flow they will discover a very satisfying independence from you being the vortex through which it flows that is exactly it that is exactly what I was looking for because I want to be the best parent I can be which I understand means paying attention to my own being well, in my own vortex the best parent you can be means understanding that their desire will bring them whatever they want and that their alignment is necessary and that you are not responsible for their alignment mm. but you can be a demonstrator of your own alignment that's the best that a parent can be a demonstrator a consistent constant demonstrator of being in your own vortex great thank you yes indeed <laughs>